and welcome back to Only Polished Nails. My name is Liz. Today I have you guys my sparkly sandy nude comparisons. We have Zoya Brighton, Zoya Godiva, and Zoya Tomoko. So let's get started. So the first polish I have to show you today is Zoya Brighton and this came out in the 2018 Bridal Bliss collection. Zoya describes this as a soft nude with a diamond holographic. So this one is not as brilliant of a holographic as some of the other scattered holographics in the Zoya line. Uh, it definitely requires very direct lightning to see it. Um, and then it has sort of a sandy soft base. The next one I'm going to compare that to is Zoya Godiva. So Godiva is just like Brighton is described as being a soft nude with a sugar sparkle finish. So Godiva is a pixie dust finish, so it's not going to look the same on the nail as Brighton, but I still thought it was very similar in tonality, um, and it has those little silver glitters in there that when this polish dries, you see those silver glitters, and it looks very shiny and sparkly, similar to Brighton. And then last but not least, we have Tomoko. And Tomoko is another pixie dust formula. However, this one is described as being a champagne silver color. So unlike Godiva, the glitters in this one are the color of the base. And so I think you get just a little bit different of a, a look of this on the nail as you do to Godiva. And here we have them all together again. So Brighton. Godiva in the middle, and then Tomoko on the other side. So let's put these on the nail and see how they compare. So first up, I'm going to be putting Brighton on. Now I have to say that when I received Brighton, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, from the pictures online and looking at swatch photos, I was expecting a gold holographic. I don't know why. Um, I should have just read the description on Zoya's website and it would have been a lot more clear. Uh, but yeah, this, it's a sandy base color, which is typically not my favorite color to wear. I think it always makes my skin look a little bit dead. But I'm, I'm definitely warming up to it. I've worn it a couple times since I received it, and it's growing on me. So next up, we're going to be putting on Zoya Godiva. And as I mentioned, Godiva is a pixie dust, so it's going to dry in a matte textured finish. But it does look very similar to Brighton on the nail in the sense that it has those nice glittery shimmers to it in that sandy base. And then last but not least, we're going to be putting on Tomoko. So Tomoko is the first pixie dust that I ever picked up. And I absolutely love it. I was a little bit hesitant to pick up Pixie Dust in the beginning because I was worried that I didn't like textured polish. But after trying Tomoko, I absolutely fell in love and picked up probably eight or nine more in the next time they had a sale. And here we have two coats of each. Um, so we still have Brighton and then Godiva and Tomoko. So Godiva has just like that regular base color and then some silver glitters in it. So the glitters do look a little bit more sparse on the nail where Tomoko is made up almost 100% of glitter. So you get a lot more of that glitz and shine. 